This is a battery powered tractor that not only costs nothing to run, but get this, it's driver optional. Yes, I'm driving an all electric tractor where I am optional at Forest Lodge Orchard down here in the deep south. And what I'm gonna do right now to maintain an interview is press the row follow button in front of me. And now it's doing the steering for me. Use the throttle here. Now it's maintaining a speed, maybe a little bit too quick. <laughs> and now that it is steering and driving itself, I can look behind me and see that is Ewan. You know, what am I driving or not driving? This is a fully electric Monarch tractor. Okay, so why would you choose this over a traditional diesel one, other than emissions? This costs us cents per hour to run. It is so quiet, as you can hear, we can talk next to each other. Yeah, this is the first time I've, <laughs> I've had an interview on a tractor, but we can talk while it's running, it's, it's madness. It is this easy to operate. That's one of the major benefits of this. Okay, hang on, there is an obstacle coming up. This row doesn't go on forever. At some point, I'm gonna have to take over. In the future. Right about now. Hang on, to take over, I just, so take the wheel. Take the wheel a little bit. There we go. And now I've take, got- Take, take, take. Take, take, take. There we go. go. You've got it. I've got control now. Okay, so now we just pick another row. Go down again. That way, you think? Yeah, you'll be right. Yeah. Oh, God. You, you, have, oh, you have a lot more faith in my tractor ability than me. All right, we're back in the row. Now to press row follow. Let it do its driving again. Now I can continue talking to you and Okay, so you come here often. <laughs> I do, in fact, every day. <laughs> this is wild, man. This is how easy it is to drive electric tractors. This is living proof that this can be done using only electricity. Bring the camera handheld here so I can talk to both of it at the same time while the tractor drives by itself down this road. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that this is driver optional. Does that just mean that I can do this? It just drives by itself down a row or is there more to it than that? The next level to this is having nobody in the seat at all. I want to be sitting on my deck, drinking coffee, watching my tractor do the work for me. Is that actually real or is that science fiction? We are a software update away. Are you having, serious? Having so is that why this thing's got all the cameras around? 360 degree cameras, it knows where it is, it knows who's near it, who's behind it, who's in front of it. It uses a thing called open space recognition. It will drive itself down a row, keep itself centered. It will stop before it hits anything, perfectly safe. This is it, this is a world first, man. I've never seen this in my life. Autonomous tractor about to start. Switch it on on the phone, set the path. It'll give a beep, there we go. Wait for it, look at this, look at this. Holy cow, its cameras are scanning. It's using some intelligent software to scan me, to scan the rows, to scan the terrain. It's doing millions of calculations to make sure it stays in the middle. It's adjusting speed, adjusting steering. And look at, there is no one behind the wheel. <laughs> this is staggering, man. Right now, I'm being chased by a fully autonomous, self-driving tractor in an orchard. There's no one driving that thing. Just make sure I don't fall over and it runs me over. Actually, no, it's really smart. It's got cameras and everything. So it's monitoring everything. It's Checking out the terrain, the rows, it's looking, it's identifying obstacles, idiots like me in the middle of the work. And it'll stop if anything goes wrong. But for menial tasks like doing lawns and stuff like that, we no longer need a driver for that stuff. The driver can concentrate on skilled stuff like picking these cherries. This is not future stuff. This is 2024 technology being used in the real world now. If you're an anti-EV person or anti-technology person, you better get with the game because this is coming and this is gonna revolutionize farming. And it's here now. This has blown my mind, man. It's like a really, really slow horror movie. I'm being chased by technology. It's like Christine, but with a tractor. Remember that movie? All the menial, horrible tasks that we had to have people do, high risk jobs, miserable jobs. Now robots can take care of it and those workers can go into skilled work. See right now, I've just ducked down to the side. I'm gonna let it go past. Check this out. Fully autonomous tractor behind me. Guess who's driving? No one. That is the future. What's the feedback you're getting from fellow farmers, fellow orchard growers when they see this sort of technology? It's a lot of interest. It is a really compelling case. For a tractor this size, this can be done using electricity only. There is no fuel involved in our operation, including this tractor, at all. Okay, well where does the fuel come from? Where, do, where does the electricity for this come from? Because you, you know what people on Facebook are going to say, you're burning coal to run this thing. Yes, we got told we swapped a diesel tractor for a coal powered tractor at the start of this. <laughs> really? Trouble is we make 80% of our power ourselves using our own solar panels. 
So this tractor did a big job last night. We charged it from the grid overnight because there's no sun. It cost us 85 cents. 85 cents? To charge our tractor from not zero to 90%. 85 cents for one full charge. And, and how, how long will that run? 17 hours. To put on my Facebook hat, my skeptical Facebook user hat, but what about the cost, the initial cost? This was a one-off, one container from the States to New Zealand, courtesy of a grant from the Energy Efficiency Conservation Authority. This is 160 landed in New Zealand as a one-off. And what about payback time? It depends how much you use a tractor like oh, yeah, this. Oh, okay, all right. Use sense. it every day, use everything you can with it, which we are doing. It's about seven years is the payback period. Okay. Fuel use, fuel savings, make your own power. But Facebook told me that the battery needs to re be replaced every three years. Facebook <laughs> wouldn't lie. Facebook wouldn't lie, would they? <laughs> But maybe they would. What technology have we got battery-wise? Is it? Uh... There's a lithium-ion battery in the front of this. It is 100 kilowatt hours. Aha. That is a massive battery. That is a big battery. <laughs> uh, that lets us do all the things we need to do without ever really needing to worry about the charge level. And this is 2024. This technology is here right now. I mean, I'm driving it and you're using it daily. You mean you're driving it? I mean, I'm not I'm driving not doing, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm sitting here thing. and you're walking alongside it. This is madness. This is how simple it can be. I'm kind of lost to words because, you know, I deal with this stuff in cars all the time. Oh, here, hang on, here we go. The, uh, the row is ending. I'm going to have to take over here. So I just need to adjust the steering wheel. There we go. And then turn off the... There we go. Let's pick another row. Tell me some tech specs. First of all, like, how much does this thing weigh? So this weighs about two and a half tons. Two and a half tons. Is that a lot? It is a little heavier than a diesel incumbent, but it is what it is. And what sort of towing capacity? Like, like is, is it still a usable tractor? Or because, you know, people on social media will probably say that this is some dinky toy that can't do anything except go up and down rows. Yep, we've heard it all before. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is the size tractor that most vineyards and orchards need. Uh, this is a 40 horsepower equivalent tractor. This will do all the tractor stuff that you would expect a tractor of this size to do. That, and that's really important. It'll pull three and a half tons. We can lift up almost a ton on our arms. Full wheel drive, it's really stable. It's really quiet. More tech specs though. What, what is the purpose of this big screen? What does this tell me? That is our smart screen. That is how we control almost everything on the tractor. We can set limits, we can operate cameras that can tell me where it is. I can, on my phone, I can see it on my iPad, on my laptop. Oh, no way. We can view where the tractor is. I can view the cameras on my phone as well. What does it actually do though? It can't just drive up and down to look busy. <laughs> it. So it's making the tractor more useful. So taking the driver off the seat for really mundane jobs, okay. like mowing, for example. Oh, brilliant. It's straight, it's boring, it's noisy. You don't need a person to do that. I'd rather deploy my staff into skilled roles That's by using tractors like this. I hate mowing. <laughs> that makes perfect no one sense. Likes, yeah, I don't <laughs> like mowing either. Let's get the driver out of the seat. They can do something much more better with their time, much more valuable with their time. Because time is money. Time is money. That's true. Okay, so what else can this thing do? I see it's got power outlets here in the dashboard. Are they for charging or are they for taking power out? So we have exportable power. You can use, We can use the battery in the tractor to run pretty much anything we want behind the tractor as well. So uh, as for charging, how long does it take to charge this thing and how do you charge it? So we charge this off a, off a usual type two charger. So we charge it at 20 kilowatts, takes around seven or eight hours from zero to 100. Okay, so overnight. It is, the, the trick is to try and use it early in the day, get the work done while the sun is still shining in the afternoon, if possible, you plug it in. So you're putting solar power directly off the panels into the inverters end of the track everybody wins it's got no seated heats it's got no heated steering wheel <laughs> but it does have cup holders it does have cup holders which are very important if it's going to be driving itself like i right now i'm just controlling the accelerator i'm letting it do the steering so i can take my hands off the wheel and pay attention and has it ever careened off into anything or is it, it pretty good it has never careened off into anything oh, it has never hit anything how is it maintaining this row what technology is it using cameras it uses infrared technician uh, technology as well so we're using monarch call it open space recognition so we can see in front of us there's a row of trees to our left and to our right. We want okay. the tractor, the tractor wants to stay in the middle of the row. What would this tractor normally be doing in this row other than just driving up and down? <laughs> so we use the tractor for everything that we do here at the orchard. Yep. So we tow our sprayer behind it. We apply our nutrients, our fungicides, things like that okay. to our trees. Okay. This is like a sightseeing mode. Okay, right, right, right. This is the scenic trip. Yep. This is madness, man. I can't get over it. Because anytime I do a car review and I've got my hands off the wheel, just even for a second, people tell me off in the YouTube comments, but they can't on this video. You can try, but you can't. <laughs> public road? It's not a public road. No, we can do whatever <laughs> we like. Now I notice it's got some fairly chunky tires on the back. Is it a two wheel drive tractor or is it four wheel drive or what? This can be either two, four or automatic four wheel drive. So the big wide tires are to disperse the weight. Okay, because gotcha. it's row centering technology, it always wants to drive in exactly the same place. Yep. Can be a problem, we can oh, cause see. compaction. You get ruts in there, okay. The less pressure we have on the ground by having nice wide tyres, better for the soil, better for the roots of the trees, 
everybody wins. That makes sense. I noticed that when I started it up, there was like a spooling up. So is it electric drive to the wheels or is it hydraulic or what? how does it work? So this is an electrically powered, hydraulically driven tractor. So the noise we hear is the gearbox. There is hydraulic oil in the gearbox, but it's not being burnt at all. There's, there's no emissions involved here. It is simply lubricating the gearbox. By the way, if you do have an electric tractor or an electric farm or an electric car or just a house, why don't you sign up at Ecotricity at ecotricity.co.nz. It is New Zealand's only certified climate positive electricity provider. Why not sign up today? Get some green cred, save some cash. You can't go wrong in it. It's a good look for you in 2024. As is this impressive electric tractor. Eh? You can see right in front of me, look at all those solar panels. That is the fuel for this thing. Oh, see, it stopped by itself because <laughs> we reached the end of the row. The row stopped, the wall stopped, the okay. lane stopped, it stopped. That's fantastic. That's how safe it is. And there's the petrol station right in front of us. Like even today, it's kind of cloudy and miserable. You're still drawing power. Like you can pull up on your phone the, the app that shows how many kilowatts that you're sucking out of thin air. And most of it, you're just feeding it to your neighbors and other farms in the grid. We're still making more power than we would use to charge this tractor. Now, it is, it is overcast, it is 4 p.m. maybe. We're still making more power than we, than we need to use. This is the only tractor in the Southern Hemisphere like this. There's 500 of these in California. Oh yeah. Oh, so we are, we are, that is how far ahead of the curve we are. Other Kiwis that are watching this, uh, what, what sort of feedback are you getting? Are they interested, skeptical, keen? There's a tremendous amount of interest. I think we're up to 11,500 visitors here since we started camping. Oh, right. There is a healthy degree of skepticism because this is all unproven. I, I understand that. But we are 12 months into operation now with this tractor. Uh, we have proven that this can be done. That is, it is beyond doubt. Many of you on Facebook, you said it couldn't be done, but here it is in the flesh battery powered tractor and do hit the subscribe button because coming up very soon i'm going to be doing a deep dive on this farm looking at not only this massive solar array right next to me but also the 300 kilowatt hours of storage much of which gets fed into the neighboring community a lot of cool gadgets here as well right on anything you can imagine it's all here so stay tuned next video is going to be really cool but right now i'm enthralled with this this is a technology that is not only proven to be working but just a taste of what's coming next.